Hey, my friends, it's a beautiful night in front of the Flamingo, but here's what's happening this week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been brought to you by Gala Casino. Big on land, now big online. With more games, more promotions, and more bonuses than ever before. 200% welcome bonus, cash back, and deposit bonuses. Visit galacasino.com. Hello, all my friends out there, and welcome to This Week in Gambling. I'm your host, Jay Todd, back home in my studio. Got a full show for you, including news from the Las Vegas Strip, plus a new social gaming sports betting application launched on Facebook. Also, in the second half of our program, I've got an interview with the company paving the way into the future of real money gambling here in America. But first, this week's big story. Originally, Full Tilt founder Ray Bittar and poker pro Howard Lederer were facing civil charges as part of the Black Friday investigation fallout, charges that were later amended to include running a Ponzi scheme. Now those charges have been amended yet again this time to include violations of the Travel Act, saying that this dynamic duo of dumbasses used player money on deposit to buy themselves houses and cars. So now these guys are facing some pretty serious charges, including bank fraud, wire fraud, money laundering, and conspiracy. But anybody out there want to lay odds that they never see any serious jail time? My bet is that they cough up a crap load of money and walk away free men. I guess time will have to tell if the U.S. Department of Justice is actually interested in pursuing justice or if it's just a name that doesn't really mean anything. All right, we're going to take our break, but when we come back, news from Zynga, the Tropicana in Las Vegas, and our interview with payment processor BoxPay. Share your comments, questions, and suggestions when you phone us directly in the U.S. at 702-357-TWIG. That's 702-357-8944. Connecting to Seven Seaters is now in the palm of your hand. The new mobile app for your smartphone will connect you to the best of Seven Seaters Casino. Available for virtually all smartphones, this easy-to-use, downloadable mobile app will become an invaluable part of the Seven Seaters experience. So what can you do from your phone? First and foremost, you can track your valuable totem reward points. Check out the lowest prices for gas. Find out what's cooking at one of our delicious restaurants. And if you're playing around at the Seaters at Dungeness, you'll be able to book tea times and check tournament scores. And challenge yourself with one of our free play casino games. The new mobile app for the Seven Seaters Casino, where it's all fun and games. Hey, welcome back to the program. This week we learned that the Tropicana in Las Vegas is going to be closing the doors of its poker room. And... I'm sure I speak for poker players everywhere when I say, what, the Tropicana had a poker room? Also, in continuing preparation for a transition to real money gaming in the United States, Zynga this week launched its own play for free sports betting application via Facebook. The uh, creative minds at Zynga have named the application Sports Casino. Yeah. And I'm sure it's going to be a great big hit with all those play money people who want to show all their Facebook friends how smart they are. 
Speaking of moving toward real money gaming here in the United States, we realize that if slash when it becomes a reality, payment processing is going to be a pretty big deal. Here's an interview I did with an up and coming company named BoxPay who have an innovative approach to the issue. Hey everyone, Jay Todd down here at Casual Connect in Seattle. What an event, not necessarily internet gambling, but certainly gaming in general and the direction that I think the industry as a whole is moving. Social games, online casinos, land-based gaming, peer-to-peer -peer gaming, it's all gonna you know, come together. And, and if you play online, you're gonna need to eventually pay, you know, if you ever want to win money or participate. Sometimes you just pay and you don't even win anything, just for the fun of it, right? And when you pay, you always use a payment processor. Sometimes you know who they are, like MasterCard, Visa, sometimes you don't. And, and, and it's people like this gentleman here with me. This is Gavin from BoxPay. Gavin, thank you so much for coming on. Would you like to tell the people a little bit about uh, what BoxPay is, where you're based, and what you're doing at Casual Connect? Sure, so uh, BoxPay is a carrier payments company. So what that actually means is uh, a user can make a payment but put the charge on their carrier cell phone bill. So as opposed to using a credit card for payment, it, it comes on their cell phone bill. And we're connected to carriers in about 60 countries at the moment. It's about 280 mobile phone carriers, so it's a huge reach. We cover most of the world. Uh, it's generally micropayments. It's anything under about $25 at the moment. And uh, yeah, users can put these charge on their cell phone bill, so it's, it's easy to convert, it's easy to make a payment. Okay, obviously there are some legal considerations here in America when it comes to online gambling. Maybe not so much with gaming, uh, but of course attitudes are changing. In Europe, you were mentioning that uh, it's a lot more uh, free, it's a lot less restrictive. You guys are based in Dublin and San Francisco getting a foothold here in the U.S. Uh, but, but as well as legal you know, considerations, aren't there carrier considerations when you're processing payments? Sure, so there's, there's, there's jurisdiction legislation that you mentioned there and there's also carrier rules. So even in countries where you know, jurisdictionally you're, uh, you're able to do gaming or gambling, we have to also abide by what the carriers allow us to charge on. So, you know, but we, we, we take care of that. Uh, we find out what the rules and regulations are in each country and uh, we can help our, the companies that we're assisting to make payments so that we can help them with that. All right, well, that's very interesting. You know, I'm looking forward to the day when I can go online here in the U.S. and not just you know, play free poker or give $25 to build a simulated city on Facebook. And, and I know you guys are probably looking forward to that too. Do you, how do you see the future and, and maybe in, a, in an ideal world where BoxPay might fit into that here in the U.S. and around the world? Sure, well I know a lot of casual and social gaming companies, they're all looking at, at, at gaming as a, as a huge big vertical, at like gambling gaming, and uh, they're hoping that legislation here changes, they already have massively installed user bases, so you know, we're hoping if legislation here opens up that we can become a payment processor uh, and assist people to, to make payments and, and win prizes. All right. If anyone out there is interested, like you're a uh, an operator or perhaps you know, you're somebody thinking about getting into the gaming business, where? could they contact you if they wanted to? Sure, our website is www.boxpay.com. Our head office is in Dublin, Ireland. We have an office here in San Francisco. And uh, yeah, just, just look us up. All right, thank you so much. And I look forward to the day, sir, when I, as a player in the US, can utilize BoxPay to, to play a game of craps or roulette or whatever. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to one of our channels, and I hope to see you on the next installment of This Week in Gambling. Road Apple Pie. Yum.